Do you know or even ever wondered how powerful your brain truly is? It's a marvel. A complex network of neurons darting messages at lightning speed, creating the very essence of you. Now imagine this intricate machinery as a sort of sculptor, constantly shaping and reshaping itself. This is the magic of neuroplasticity, the brain's innate ability to adapt and heal. Our guide through this cerebral journey is none other than Andrew Huberman, a renowned neuroscientist who has dedicated his life to decoding the enigmas of our minds. His research illuminates the brain's resilience, its capacity to rewire itself, even in the face of adversity. Yet, today our focus isn't on the brain's fight against physical trauma or disease. We're venturing into a realm less explored, the brain's battle against an invisible foe, a pervasive influence in our digital age, pornography. Now let's delve into the brain's ability to heal from pornography. Pornography, a seemingly harmless vice, has profound effects on our brain. But how exactly? Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist at Stanford University, provides us with some fascinating insights. According to him, the brain is a complex playground of neurons, neurotransmitters, and chemicals that work in harmony to shape our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. In his insights, he talks about pornography, a disruptive player in this delicate balance. When we consume explicit content, our brain's reward system is triggered, releasing a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Dopamine is often associated with pleasure, but it's more accurately described as a desire chemical. It's what compels us to seek out things that satisfy us. In the context of pornography, the brain is flooded with dopamine each time new explicit content is viewed. This flood of dopamine over time can lead to what Huberman calls a dopamine addiction. It's a state where the brain craves for the dopamine highs associated with pornography leading to compulsive consumption of explicit content. This addictive cycle alters the brain's neural pathways. It's like carving a deep riverbed in your mind that makes it difficult to divert the flow of your thoughts and desires away from pornography. The brain becomes wired to seek out explicit content, reinforcing the addiction. But this isn't the end of the story. The frequent dopamine highs also lead to what is known as dopamine burnout. This is when the brain's dopamine receptors become less sensitive due to overstimulation. As a result, everyday pleasures that used to bring us joy no longer seem to satisfy us. We're left feeling empty, unsatisfied, and constantly seeking the next dopamine high. This paints a bleak picture indeed. But remember, the brain is an amazing organ, capable of change and adaptation. It's a feature known as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to rewire itself, to form new neural pathways and weaken old ones. However, the brain's remarkable plasticity gives us hope for recovery. The brain, a marvel of nature, has an incredible capacity to heal even from the effects of pornography. Just as the brain can be influenced by the damaging effects of pornography, it can also rewire itself to heal. This is a process known as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. It is this ability that allows the neurons in the brain to compensate for injury and disease and to adjust their activities in response to new situations or to changes in their environment. One of the most significant changes that occur in the brain due to prolonged exposure to pornography is the alteration of dopamine levels. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that helps control the brain's reward and pleasure centers. When one views pornography, these dopamine levels spike, creating a sense of pleasure and reward. However, with frequent exposure, the brain becomes desensitized, needing more and more to achieve the same level of satisfaction. The healing process from this involves resetting these dopamine levels and rewiring the brain's reward system. It's not about removing or suppressing the desire for pleasure but about teaching the brain to seek it in healthier ways. This is where the insights of Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist renowned for his work in neuroplasticity, come into play. According to Huberman, this rewiring process is not a quick fix. It takes time, effort, and most importantly, patience. It's about gradually reducing exposure, while simultaneously replacing it with healthier habits and activities. This could be anything from exercise, to learning a new skill, to spending time with loved ones. These activities stimulate the brain in a positive way, helping to reset the dopamine levels and rewire the reward system. The key here is consistency. The brain needs time to adjust to these changes. It's not about perfection but progress. 
With each passing day as these new habits take root, the brain begins to heal. The healing process is not a quick fix but rather a journey that requires dedication and patience. With the right approach and mindset, healing is not just possible, it's inevitable. Recovery is possible but it requires action. So what steps can we take? First and foremost, we need to understand that healing, like any journey, begins with a single step. This step is acknowledging the impact pornography has had on the brain and deciding to seek help. It's not an easy step, but it's a crucial one. Now let's delve into some practical steps towards recovery. Andrew Huberman, a renowned neuroscientist, suggests cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT for short. CBT involves changing the thought patterns that lead to harmful actions. It's like reprogramming your brain, teaching it to respond differently to triggers. But that's not all. Mindfulness practices also play an essential role in recovery. Mindfulness, in essence, is about being present, fully engaged with whatever we're doing at the moment. It's about not letting our mind wander into the realm of past mistakes or future worries. Why is mindfulness important? Well, it helps us become aware of our triggers and manage our responses to them. It's like having a personal alarm system that goes off when we're about to slip into old habits. Then, there's the importance of a support network. Friends, family, therapists, these are the people who can provide guidance, encouragement, and a listening ear during the recovery process. Remember, the journey to recovery is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about patience, resilience, and a willingness to embrace change. After all, the brain is an incredible organ, capable of healing and adapting in ways we're only beginning to understand. The road to recovery may be long and challenging, but it is not impossible. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. With each step, you're reprogramming your brain, freeing it from the chains of addiction. It's a testament to the incredible adaptability and resilience of the human mind. As Andrew Huberman reminds us, our brains are powerful and capable of healing. The journey may be tough, but the destination is worth it.